All right, today we're going to see how to create a 3D curved text effect in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. We now select the text tool. The font I'm using is Anton and the size is 450. And now left click here to create a new text box and now I'm going to type my text. So here it is and now I'm going to align this text here on the image here so select the alignment tool left click on the text layer and now make sure the align is relative to the image and now let's align it horizontally and then vertically so here it is and now in order to curve this text i'm going to create a path here so that the text is going to follow so i'm going to select the paths tool I'm going to left click here and then left click here and then just drag to make and now to make path here I want the text to follow so here so here it is and now select the text layer right click on it and then here text along path so here it is and now I'm going to hide my text I'm going to create a new transparent layer so click on this icon fill it with transparency and then press ok now I'm going to move this path here to the middle here for now select the move tool and now here on the move check this one here to move the path and now I'm just going to move it here like this and now I'm going to bring back the move to the layer so now I'm going to fill this layer here this path here so here we are on the new transparent layer we created select the paths tool double click here on the path here super here the text double click on it so here it is now the tool changed from the move tool to the paths tool so now i'm just going to switch between the foreground and background i'm going to select my foreground i'm going to select this yellow color the html notation is e6cc19 press ok so now i'm going to fill this text here so now i'm going to go back to the layers tab here so this is transparent layer we created so now when we click on fill path this the path here is going to be filled with the foreground color so click on fill path and now check the solid color and then check the anti-aliasing then fill make sure on the layer transparent layer click on fill so here it is and now i'm going to add the stroke the black stroke so i'm just going to switch between the foreground and background by clicking on these two arrows here and then here while the path is active click on stroke path check the stroke line solid color check the anti-aliasing and for the line width i'm going to go with 10 pixels and then click on stroke so here it is now if you want to remove these paths here just select another tool and then here as you can see there's a red outline here so go to the path tab and now i'm going to uncheck the eye icon so here it is and i'll go to the layers tab again so now i'm going to rotate this layer here so select the rotation tool left click here on the layer here the text layer so for this one for the original text i don't need it anymore so i'm just going to delete it click on the x icon now let's check the i icon here and then select the layer here with the text now here we are on the rotation tool make sure to select the rotation tool left click and now i'm just going to rotate it to make it here straight so i think here it's okay and i'll press enter so now i'm going to crop it here to its content so that i can center it on the image so go to layer crop to content select the alignment tool left click make sure the align is related to the image let's align it horizontally and then vertically so here it is and now right click layer to image size if you want to remove these squares here just select another tool and now we're going to create our 3d text so go to filters map then here recursive transform and now here I'm going to increase the number of iterations to 16 and then check the past below here as you can see each icon here represents the tool so for example for this one it's the scale tool if you go inside it will go to the move tool as you can see the cursor here changes the icon on the cursor changes outside it's the rotation and now keep the shift key down and then left click here scale down from the top one so here it is now as you can see there is for example the effect that as if layers here are stacking the copies here are stacking on each other since the recursive transform tool 
is going to create copies. So for example, here it's 16 copies. So press minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to hit shift key down and then go up a little bit. So I want to remove this effect here. So here it is. And now, and now I'm going to scale from the right side and the left side at the same time. And in order to do so, keep the control key down, then drag to the inside. So here it is. So here, if you increase the number of iterations here, it will make the shadow here, the outline here, bigger. So here, so the maximum is 20 copies. So left click on the game window, press the plus key. You want to reduce this effect here. So keep shift key down and scale it a little bit up. So I think here I'm going to leave it like this and now press OK. And now I'm going to create my background. So I'm going to select the background layer. I'm going to select the foreground. I'm going to select this blue color. HTML notation is 48A5D8. Press OK. And now I'm going to drag it in the background color. So here it is. And now I'm going to create a new layer. Click on this icon, fill it with transparency, and then press OK. And now I'm going to change the background. I'm going to select, for example, light blue color. So here's the HTML notation. It's A1D2ED. Press OK. So I want to create the sunburst background. While we are on the transparent layer, go to help and then search and run the command and then type blinds. So here it is. And now click. So this filter here is going to use the background color here. So here are settings I'm using. Orientation, make sure it's vertical. Displacement is 54. The number of segments is nine and then press OK. So here it is. And now go to filters while on the on this layer here. Go to filters, distorts, and their polar coordinates. And now I'm going to bring the circle depth slider all the way down. So here it is. And now press OK. And now I'm going to rotate this text here a little bit seems to me it's not straight so i'm going to just so here it is press center and now i'm going to center it so go to layer crop to content select the alignment tool left click on it make sure the align is relative to the image and then let's align it horizontally and then vertically so here now right click new from visible if you want to remove these squares here just select another tool so here it is that's how you can create a 3d curved text effect in game Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.